Today we finish up the Gospel of Luke, chapter 9. We're going to read verses 57 through 62, long chapters here in Luke. Here we go. As they were walking along the road, a man said to him, to Jesus, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus replied, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. He said to another, he said to another man, Follow me. But the man replied, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Still another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me go back and say goodbye to my family. Jesus replied, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. So some interesting recruiting strategies that we see here. Uh, the first one, <clears throat> excuse me, the first one, uh, this guy, he comes up to Jesus. I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus, you know, he says, foxes have holes, birds of the air have nests, son of man has no place to lay his head. What he's saying to him is uh, that, you know, there's going to be hardships with this. You know, it looks cool when you're seeing a miracle. It looks cool when you're seeing all these neat things happen and the crowds are there. But wow, there's a whole lot of sacrifice on the other side of it if you want to be part of this. So understand that. Um, the next one, you know, he says to this guy, follow me. And the man replied, first let me go and bury my father. Now, there's been debate about what does this mean. Some people think that First, let me go and bury my father means I will come and serve you after my father dies. He's in perfect health right now, uh, and he's, you know, 50 years old, so it could be a good 20 years, but, you know, hey, when he finally dies, I'm with you. I don't know, you know, I don't know what the specifics are here with regards to what these things mean. Um, but, you know, in general, what it means is, is that there are sacrifices that need to be made. There, it's important. You know, so what is he saying here? Um, Let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. To me, what that means is, you know, sometimes your serving of God may end up costing you some relationships. You know, you might lose some friends. There might be family members who just don't like you anymore and don't want to talk to you because you believe that there's a God in heaven that loves every human being and has paid the price for their redemption and wants them to have everlasting life in God's paradise. They may hate you because of that, which is bizarre. But anyway, that's how it goes. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, that, that may happen. You may lose some relationships. So we need to realize there might be financial sacrifices. There might be relationship sacrifices. And then this other guy, the third one, uh, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me go back and say goodbye to my family. I don't know what that means, um, it, you know, exactly. Is this a 15-minute thing? Like, hey, I'll be right with you. Or did he require them to just, come, you know, like, just walk away? I don't know. But the response, no one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God, to me, just speaks of priorities. Um, you know, Jesus fifth on my priority list is just not is not how uh, following Jesus works. So we need to understand there are sacrifices, there can be financial sacrifices, there can be relationship sacrifices. Now I believe also that God will provide for us and that there will be more relationships given to us. Uh, we will have great relationships with more people than if we didn't come serve Jesus, but that doesn't mean there won't be some hardships along the way. And then we need to make uh, the Lord first priority does that seem harsh? You know, like what about John 10.10? 10? You know, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come to give them life and life to the full, you know, a life more abundantly. Uh, what about life more abundantly? Is it all sacrifice? Well, let's look at it this way. Because we're only reading a, reading a small section here. Uh, the greatest benefits in life, the greatest things that we can have often require great sacrifice. And I believe that's how it is with the kingdom of God that there is incredible blessings, <clears throat> benefits. There's great stuff in following Jesus, but it does include making, and sometimes depending on the environment you're in, 
it could mean some great sacrifices. So let's pray to be willing to make whatever sacrifices are necessary for grabbing hold of abundant life in Christ. So Heavenly Father, help us to see that, of course, um, great things in life require great sacrifice. If it's starting a business or getting a degree or, you know, uh, an athletic accomplishment, whatever it is, it takes sacrifice, it takes dedication, it takes hard work. And uh, Lord, following you is the same way. It takes dedication, it takes sacrifice, it takes hard work, but it is well worth it. And so, Lord, help us to see that we are grabbing after, seeking after abundant life, and that we, when we make these sacrifices, we can trust you and hope in something greater than what we give up. So, Lord, encourage us with this, but help us to be willing to do whatever it takes to grab hold of the fullness of life that you have for us. In Jesus' name, amen.